So Steve Ramsey of Woodworking for Mere Mortals here on YouTube started an organization called Makers Care. And the first thing he's doing is asking people to build airplanes out of anything, out of wood, out of metal, out of paper, out of cookies, it doesn't matter. And then post a photo or video to makerscare.org and then Steve will personally donate $5 to Make-A-Wish Foundation. And I think he has at least one company on board to match his donations. So I thought I'd lend a hand and build my own airplane. I built this 787 Dreamliner. Make-A-Wish, Dreamliner, Wish, Dream, you get it. I made it out of pallet wood and I'm gonna show you how I did it. I started with a single piece of pallet wood and used the hand plane to clean up the faces and level the board a bit. This was the first time using this hand plane and once I got it set up right, it worked quite well. I was quite surprised how nice this piece of pallet wood was once I cleaned it up. Then I cut the board into smaller pieces that were easier to work with. I designed a template on the computer and printed it out. If you would like this template, you can download a free PDF from my website. There's a link down below. I cut the template pieces down a bit and then used spray adhesive to stick them to the pieces of wood. Then I cut the pieces out with a coping saw. I thought this would take forever, but it wasn't too bad. A band saw or a scroll saw would have been faster though. I cut out the fuselage, two engines, but only one wing and one horizontal stabilizer. Then I cut the wing and horizontal stabilizer pieces in half to make two thin wings and two thin stabilizers. I sanded the pieces with a sanding disc attached to my homemade drill powered lathe. I did some contouring as well to give the pieces a more realistic look. I also sanded the base of each wing and stabilizer at an angle so they would come out of the fuselage at a more realistic angle. I sanded the top of the engines at an angle as well so they would sit vertically under the wing. I also did some hand sanding with 220 grit sandpaper. I was worried that the wings were too thin to get good adhesion to the fuselage, so I drilled small holes in each wing and stabilizer, as well as the fuselage. Then I cut little pieces of 1 8 inch dowel to fit in the holes. This should help increase the surface area for glue. Then I glued the pieces together one at a time. Because the wings were angled, I couldn't clamp them, so I used painter's tape as a clamp. This isn't ideal, but it seems to have worked well enough. I did have some problems gluing one of the engines. Because of the angles involved, it just didn't want to stay in place. When all the glue was dry, I did a final sanding with 220 grit sandpaper. I finished the wood with a couple coats of shellac. I like using shellac on toys because it's non-toxic, hypoallergenic, and can be repaired easily. Plus it dries quickly. When the shellac was dry, the airplane was finished. I think this Dreamliner turned out nice. I'm not sure I'd give it to a kid to play with though. I'm a little worried about the strength of the, the wings and the horizontal stabilizers. There isn't a lot of surface area for glue at these joints. Uh, you could make it stronger by cutting the wings out as, as a single piece, you know, with some wood in between, and then cutting a slot in the side of the fuselage and sliding the wings through. 
Uh, that would be a lot stronger, but the wings wouldn't angle up like this. As is, it's more of a decorative piece. Might be okay for an older kid. There are some pointy parts though, and it might break, but so what? I hope you liked this Dreamliner and this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. And please check out makerscare.org and I encourage you to participate. Thanks for watching. I'm a little worried about the strength of, no, what am I worried about? And please check out makerscare.org and I highly encourage you, you. I hope you like my Dreamliner and this, I hope you liked my Dreamliner and this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. Ooh. That might not be bad.